and we're doing MLK trivia today. So, Coach Burke, your first question is, where did King deliver his famous I Have a Dream speech? He had a dream the first time he gave it or the second time he gave it? Because the, the second time he gave it was in Washington, D.C. Yeah, that's the one I really Okay, the first time it was like, I think in Detroit. But that's the second time. That's the one you're asking, so I got it right. The well known one. The well known one, there you go. Okay, good. Okay. One for one. Um, how old was Martin Luther King when he won the Nobel Peace Prize? What are my options? 35, 29, 42, or 48? 42? Sorry, Coach Burke. And he won it at 35 years. Wait, that's fine. I still won, right? Um, my, well, my catchphrase is win the day, and to me that means that every day there's an opportunity for something great to happen. Um, there, you should approach every day with an expectancy uh, that something good, it could be big or small, can happen in your day. Whether it's uh, getting a good grade on a test, maybe you got an awesome lunch that day, maybe there's something after school, you got a game, a practice, uh, maybe you make a new friend, whatever it is, uh, everybody has the opportunity to win the day. And where did you get that from? I got that phrase, it was a long, long time ago. Um, Oregon was playing the national championship and that was kind of their catchphrase was win the day. So I kind of piggybacked off that. Um, and then I love to read and one of my favorite books was called Win the Day. Okay, thank you. Yep. Hey y'all, welcome back to NTV. It's Ava and today we're here with... Kimberly Smith. Myra Jackson. And today we're gonna be asking them, what do you think we should do different during lunch and breakfast? You can start with breakfast. Um, well, breakfast they want to bunch up over here because they're wanting to sit with their friends and so they're trying to push. They're pushing people or not coming on through one day. They're pushing or standing still. We just need a steady flow so we can get everybody fed on time. We did 230, 236 students today for breakfast. Um, that's between 7 to 7.15. Um, for lunch yesterday we did about 800 and uh, I want to say about 850 for lunch. So that's about 10.45. We served to about 12.45. Um, and a lot of the times during lunch we're finding that um, some of the students are wanting to hang out in the lines with their friends instead of and not ordering lunch or anything like that. So they can basically proceed to their to the tables and sit down and eat and allow the other kids to get their food that are going to buy food today. And also, how do you think we did this morning? Um, it's getting better. It's getting better and we're trying to push the food out as fast as we can and get everybody fed. And ideally, that's our number one goal, is make sure the kids are being taken care of and being fed. They thank don't have that much time to eat, so we're trying to get them through. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Have a great day. Thank you, too. Morning, Beaver Middle School. This is Coach Appling, uh, head football coach here at Beaver High School. Um, I've been charged to talk to you guys a little bit about, you know, working hard and, and pretty much everything you do, whether it's sports, whether it's you know, homework, you know, in the classroom, even at home, you know, picking up your room and things like that. I, I got to say that, you know, my kids hear a lot and football players hear a lot from me. It's basically how you do anything is how you do everything. So if you're going to be the best, you know, football player on the football field or the best, um, you know, saxophone player in the band, um, you, you need to do everything that way. You can't be the greatest Fortnite player and not put that same sort of effort in, 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 in the classroom and in, in your bedroom at home and, and on the sports field. So um, just make sure you wake up every day ready to attack it and ready to um, do your best and, and bring the best out of you. Don't, don't ever take a day off because if you take a day off in one thing, you'll easily take a day off in something else you think is important. That, that same effort to come out. So I appreciate you. Go Wolves. Yeah. Yeah.